Hi, today we are going to talk about how we can change the IP address of a Windows 7 PC. Changing the IP address of a Windows XP, Vista or 8 PC should be pretty much the same but with slight deviations. An IP address is a unique address uh, that allows a computer to be uniquely identified in a network. So depending on this network, your IP address should change. The best person to contact uh, to find out what type of IP address you should use is the network administrator. And my network administrator says that the IP address I should use is 192.168.0.100 and a subnet of 255.255.255.255 and a gateway 192.168.0.1 and the DNS is 4 eights. And without entering this information, you will notice that my computer does not identify the network nor the internet connection. So if I just open up Internet Explorer and kind of try to go to some website, it will not open up because the network is not properly configured. So to configure the network to this information, open up in Windows Explorer right click on network and go to properties change adapter settings which will bring you to a window that shows all network adapters that this computer uses to connect to the external world our interest is on uh, either local area connections or wireless network connections your PC should have three of them or sometimes two Bluetooth network connection local area connection and wireless network connection that's depending on what type of hardware that has been installed in your PC a local area network connection uh, is connecting to a network using RJ45 cable a RJ45 cable has its advantages like stability it doesn't get disrupted out of interference and it gives you a lot of bandwidth but you are stuck in one place and when it comes to wireless network connections, they connect through Wi-Fi and although they have very little bandwidth relative to local area connections, uh, you can carry your PC almost anywhere where there's reception. So I'm going to configure my um, local area connection, that is the RJ45 cable. You see it's unidentified network. That's because it's not properly configured. So right click on local area connection, go to properties and go to Internet Protocol version 4. If your network is using IPv6, you might have to go to Internet Protocol version 6, but since my network is on IPv4, I'm going to go to Internet Protocol version 4. Okay, now we are in the IPv4 properties for the local area network connection. This has some information already added, that is like 10.40.15.200, that is the IP address I use uh, in the Network and Communication Service Unit, University of Peradeniya. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the values at home, that is 192.168.0.100. The subnet is alright, it's 255.255.255. Remember, we got it from the Network Administrator. And the default gateway has to change to 192.168.0.1 that is the router in my home network so we are going to use our own DNS server that not our own DNS server we are going to use Google's DNS server that's 8.8.8.8 .8 and we are going to apply the settings and if you notice this icon here once I click OK it will search for the network and then um, enable the internet connection. Now I should be able to browse the internet and I will press F5 to refresh the window. Okay, it's taken some time and 